Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are taking a look at the brand new Day of the Dead Collector Edition Rainbow High Doll, uh, Miss Maria Garcia. Before we start the video, I'd like to acknowledge that I am aware of the controversy. Um, however, since, yeah, it's not really my place to speak on it, but you know, I wanted to take a look at the doll. So here we are, here we are. Uh, this box is humongous <laughs> and very heavy. Um, the presentation is 10 out of 10 for sure. Here is the, the, the little tag. Um, as everybody knows, this doll is $130, so it's a pretty hefty price tag. And, you know, I bet what a lot of people don't realize is that packaging makes up a huge percentage of... Um, like a doll cost so I'm guaranteeing like I can guarantee you that this box is more than 50% of why she's so expensive but anyways like let's just take a look I have Coco over here okay I'm gonna zoom out and the terrible the quality is gonna be pretty terrible for a second but look at that the size difference is crazy this doll this doll's box is humongous I still have to zoom out for you to even like it's taking up the whole filming space. Um, let's see. And then, like, there's the sides of it. There's, like, very pretty details all over it. It feels... It's, like, embossed, so it has a little bit of a texture. Um, there's, like, the little Day of the Dead thing down there. That I don't really know what it's called, but I, it's, like, really pretty. Is it it? It's just, like, a portrait of a, a skeleton person. Um... And then we have the little roses right here. And then the back of the box uh, has art of her too. Very, very pretty. She's holding a rose and there's like petals all around. And then over here again. If anybody can tell me like the proper name for this, that would be lovely. I know like there's Katrinas and stuff. Is that just a Katrina? Or what is that like? Is it called something specific? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to take the ribbon off yet because I want to save that for the TikTok unboxing, but I mean, I, I already took it off, let's be real. But unboxing it, and then it has this flower right here on the front that's just like a legit like craft flower. You can buy it at like Coffee Lobby, it's pretty crazy. But yeah, let's, let's get her out. All right, guys, Maria is out of the box. And before, uh, well, not before, I mean, you guys can tell that the lights are off, right? So the lamps are off because I wanted to show you this light up feature. So there's a little button on the side of the box right here that turns it on and it's very pretty. It's very, oh, there we go. It's very pretty and it kind of like dims and lights and dims and lights. I'm just a very simple person to please because I'm just sitting here like, oh, lights. <laughs> Please just do it for me, you know? Please do it for me. All right, but let's take a look at this box. Uh, this part comes out, it's like a little stage runway sort of thing. Mine's a little damaged on the top, unfortunately, so that's a little annoying, but I'll live. Uh, here's the insert of the box right here. It has lovely, beautiful artwork. Uh, it has her name down at the bottom, Maria Garcia, Dia de... Thus, more thus, I can't say it, but you know. Um, let's see, it says, in honor of her Mexican heritage and the tra traditions of Dia de los Muertos, Maria Garcia <laughs> designed her very own custom gown and calavera handbag. It's her favorite day of the year because it celebrates her two passions, familia and fashion. So, yeah, that's what we got right there. Just, it's nice because you can like still display her in the box, right? And then like you can just put the little plastic piece on if you wanted to. And it says, um, de, de, de los muertos down at the bottom. Um, so yeah, it's very fun. As far as accessories go, we have a comb. I do wish the comb and stand were, well maybe not the comb, but like the stand. I wish the stand was a little more flashy, but it's just a standard gold rainbow high stand, so what we got. We have her sombrero right here. Has this lovely, oh, it's made of like a 
very soft material. I don't know what this material is called. Oh, is it like a fleece? No, not a fleece. Um, like a almost feels like a felt, but like a very like high quality felt. I don't know how to explain it, but it's very nice. And it has this intricate embroidery, has a little star, and like these little, maybe like, they remind me of like grass bushes? Does that make sense? I don't know. But yeah. And then it has this cool like stitching around the side of it. And it's really, really nice. And then on the top of it, we have some roses embroidered. And we have more of those little spiky patches and then the star. And yeah, it's really lovely feeling. And it, it's all fabric. There's like no plastic in it or anything. So I think that's really nice and really cool. And then let's look at her purse. So here is the purse. Um, it is an exact, like, design of a purse from this fashion website whose name I can't remember at this moment, but, it, you know, it's Rainbow High Five, of course, so we have a Rainbow High patch on the back, there's a real chain attached to it, uh, is that a real, oh no, that's plastic, yeah, we have a little plastic Rainbow High charm, we have a little tassel right here, I do think at her price tag we probably could have had real tassels and, like, a real charm right here, and I think that this, um, bag could have been flocked just like the real one but you know you get what you get i guess there's some printed stoning on there and then we do have like a real gem embedded in the middle of it and a the one of the teeth is a gem as well and it has some black plastic straps and it does open uh, mine i can't really get to stay closed uh, so it might just be like the weight from the chains and everything sitting on it right now but yeah it's really cute. I do really enjoy it. But all right, let's uh, let's change the camera angle here and let's look at her a little bit better. All right, so here is Maria's face up close. Mine does seem to have a little bit of little splotchy patches right there, so that's a little annoying, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see if it's enough for me to be like, hey, replace this doll. But anyways, she has an, a little intricate sugar school makeup going on here. There is little purple flower are they like flower petals around the eyes and then we have a red heart in the middle with little pink dots we have black dots lining that she has her little baby hair sculpted on super pretty i don't know which head this is oh like i know what head it is but i don't know what head it is it's very pretty sculpt that they chose of course um we have just a little bit of gray shadow there on the lid that is winged out with a wing liner and then the thick brows that a gradient effect the lips are really gorgeous they have like a little lip stain effect going on where they kind of get darker in the middle with the little black detailing and it's just really like really intricate makeup it's really really gorge um and it looks better in person i do i think like a, when in pictures i feel like the holes were like too big but in person i think it makes a little bit more sense and it looks a bit better and this just has brown eyes are these like the first warm toned brown eyes i feel like they are they don't seem like super yellow toned like the other ones do but anyways here are the earrings so these are really cool i kind of wish they were like real jewelry but like you know we have like a black stone that has an rh on it and then there's like beading around it like i don't know if this would be possible to make and like real jewelry is my thing but it's really cool looking and there's a bigger one with the little uh, katrina head on it and then the, like little beads hanging off of it like little pearls super pretty super cute and then moving on let's look at her headpiece maybe maybe come on there we go okay so these are actually clips so we have these little hair clips here that have three roses and the paint detailing on these is fantastic you can see there's like dry brushing and everything it looks really good and then there's two braids in the front of her hair by the way and then the back piece, this is like one of those big spiky needle headbands, and then that is in a gold shiny paint. I kind of wish that one was electrobladed, but it's still pretty cool looking. And it's also, I wish it was a little pointier looking. I don't know. It's a very interesting piece for sure. But moving on down to her dress, let's get there. All right, so moving on, um, I'm sure if you've seen any leaks at all, you know that this bodysuit underneath is a real uh, separate piece, and that has a bone design on it. I don't really want to take the dress off, so I'm just gonna 
let y'all figure that one out on itself. But here is the dress. It has a, a like a low, very low neckline. It doesn't even cover the chest barely without the bodysuit. And it has like these little bow sleeves. It's made of like a red satin material. We have this really cute um, like heart piece in the middle that has the little spikes coming out of it with a little flower underneath and then three more black jewels that are applied to the dress uh it even looks like there's little oh yeah there's little pearls around it too so that is pretty legit um let's look a bit there we go you can see it has tons and tons of just embroidery so we have like little rose embroidery going on right now uh going with that and there's like little glitter patches right here and then that rose embroidery goes all the way down to the bottom of the dress which is very very gorgeous and then that flares out into three different uh well it's like attached with a little plastic thing but we have one two three four layers down here at the bottom as far as the ruffling goes and they have 3d rose embroidery on the red satin layers and we have this black like lace layer and underneath you see it's really cool looking let's go down even further <laughs> okay maybe there we go all right okay this is a big dress so we have the another red satin layer and there is like beading on this it's really really pretty and subtle but it's so Mm -hmm. And then we have more of the 3D printed roses, and underneath that layer is another lace layer. If you even lift it up, it has the like detailing. You can see like the rose detailing on it. Oh, look at that! There's a big, there's a sugar skull on it. Wow, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's okay. I didn't know about that. And it just it lays really nice, and it falls really nice. It's really pretty really well made and then we can see her shoes are a pair of black leather boots and these are fabric and they have these little gold thingies going on them i don't know what's going on with the lighting but it does not like it when i do that and yeah they're really pretty really really pretty and i think this all just uses velcro like normal let's see yes we just have velcro you can see that bone design even can continues on to the back of the doll This one might be a little messy as far as angles go. Um, here is what's on her hands. We have like a little skeleton bracelet thing that gives her skeleton hands. It's gold and it's like a metallic paint. And then she does have the longer hand mold or longer nail mold, at least it's like slightly longer. Her thumbnail looks a little short here. I think it got chopped to be honest with you. Yeah, okay, I might have to do a little bit of claiming and see i feel like i with the price of this one i feel like i could be picky <laughs> so yeah i might do that um and then she has i guess we didn't really like look at her hair but let's go back it's just like a long purple blended with a lighter purple it wasn't thatched very well in the back so like it looks like she's bald but really it's just because like the thatching isn't correct like the rooting is there so yeah let's uh let's do final thoughts shall we oh i'll put this on forever all right guys so that has been the maria garcia review final thoughts i think she's pretty pretty cool uh from pure aesthetic visuals um obviously i don't know enough about the holiday to comment on any of that so i will let y'all in the comments debate that part but Speaking purely on visuals, pretty, pretty legit looking, pretty cool. And the level of craftsman, craftsmanship on all of the pieces is exceptional. Uh, the detailing is really, really pretty. The box is cool. Presentation, 10 out of 10. Um, there is, like, the price is a lot. And don't get me wrong, I'm never ecstatic about paying $130 for a doll. But I do think that she is comparable to other dolls in this price range, like the Disney designer dolls, for example. Um, I think she even has more detailing than Disney designer doll, to be honest. So yeah, let me know um, 
from what you guys think below in the comments. Uh, you know, do you like her? Do you hate her? What's the tea? What's your opinion? Uh, make sure to like the video, share the video, and follow my socials, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.